Good morning. So today's lesson is over Newton's third law, the last law of the bunch. So before you get into Newton's third law in the uh, lesson module, you will have three review questions on Newton's first law. You will also have three questions on Newton's second law. And you see the times there for uh, the questions. So it shouldn't take you that long to complete those three questions. Then you will have an air puzzle that explains Newton's third law. So with air puzzles, in the midst of the presentation, they will have questions for you to answer. So make sure you are answering those questions and paying attention. Then the next thing you will see is PowerPoint notes. So if you need to write notes or just need more information on Newton's third law, then you have a copy of the notes embedded in the presentation. Afterwards, you have five questions to answer on Newton's third, Newton's third law. And the good thing with Newton's third law is that there's no math involved with these questions. It's all just understanding what's happening when you have these two uh, objects exerting an equal and opposite force on each other. So just make sure you pay attention to the action reaction phrase and understand how that applies. So you'll see that through the video and you'll see that through the PowerPoint notes.